How's it going, guys? Welcome to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dom Guy. Today, this is what we're going to be looking at right here. A couple of new builds, uh, a couple of speedy builds. After Scrapman's last video where he showed uh, like a, a ground bird that used the skis on their side to give zero friction. That is cool. Thank you. And shout out to the Scrapman and uh, to, I can't remember the builder of that, uh, that ground bird. But uh, thumbs up on the experimentation there to find out just how well these skis can work when we use them in their non-intended purpose. So, what we've got here, first of all, first one we're going to be shown is what is called a slide cycle. Now this is just a two-wheeled motorcycle that uses weights that shift out left or right to counterweight and balance itself, basically. Got some small thrusters on the back for extra thrust and just WASD for steering. So again, can do a fairly decent speed with just two wheels. Again, not the grippiest on this muck, but. Not bad. I wish we had a stabilizer mug like uh, in Scrap Mechanic. That'd be great. So yeah, slide cycle. It's a pretty simple build. Uh, let's not run into that. So we'll just leave that right there. That's available on the shop as well. Now the next one we have, this here is uh, my most recent build with the Slideways skis. As you can see, they're turned on their sides. tap the space bar they drop down to the ground and you can see just how much how little friction there actually is right you just jump out any kind of hill and this is gonna slide like wet ice on wet ice so we can get in here and hit the space bar we got some articulation in the back for steering and it's actually very surprising the kind of speed you can get with just these this has four mini thrusters and can hit over 200 miles an hour, easy. Whoa! Uh, okay, this ain't gonna end well. Oh! <laughs> Pretty tough, too. Evidently. But yeah, in straightaways, this would be great for uh, zipping around the map or maybe in the test zone where you don't have any issues, right? 230, 240. And as you can see, you can actually steer. It's fairly stable. As long as you don't use your thrusters oh, in the air, then... Uh, It'll stay fairly level, and then you can just steer it like a glider, basically. Then hit your thrust once you hit the ground. As you can see, this is pretty good for zipping around the map. It's almost, uh, kind of handles like a hovercraft, in the sense that you got to steer before you actually want the turn to happen. See, just like that. Beauty, beauty. Let's see, we'll go for a good distance off this jump. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So yep, that is the uh, the cheetah sled available on the market on the workshop right now. Have a look, see if you're interested in a sled. I'll jump out, and that thing will continue to go up the hill, and watch it'll just slide right back. It doesn't stop. Let's actually rebuild it. There we go. And finally, we have my latest flight build. This is called the Captured Alien Fighter. As you can see, kind of a unique shape. Split wings, top and bottom. Lots of thrusters on there. And my typical black and orange pattern. Gotta love it. Well, let's see how it takes off and how it flies. So we hit number one, which is takeoff mode. Just lifts these, automatically kicks in a couple of gimbals and some thrusters. And we just hold the space bar that gives us our little bit extra to get us up off the ground. Tap the nose forward a little bit, keep her level. We can turn in the air here due to a helicopter engine that's giving us some torque. So just holding the space bar like this, it's the only thing I'm holding right now is the space bar. Left shift is to fire. Fires two out the front, four out the front, two down. So you can fly by and do some bombing as well. 
Then when you're ready to fly, all you got to do is literally let go of the space bar, hit number two, and then fold up your takeoff gear, which is number one. So number two, nose pops out, number one closes that off. The rest of the thrusters engage. Right now I'm not actually touching anything at all. It just takes off on its own. Go mode. As you can see, very good control. It is pretty weighty. It's got some weight to it, so you got to take that into account when you're flying it. It wants to uh, lurch a little, shall we say. And landing is pretty cool too, because you just come like this, hit number two to turn off the thrust, number one to open up your landing gear, and then just use your space bar. Give yourself a little bit of extra air brake. Come on. Get over our green dot here. Captured alien fighter. So yeah, that's available in the shop as well. So I think we'll round that one up here. Got some other stuff I gots to build. Working on a uh, 560 kilometer an hour ski racer for in the uh, test zone. That'll probably be in the next video or maybe in a video of its own. I'm not sure. Still working on it. Working on a walker as well. So that'll probably be in the next video as well. See anything you like here? Hit that like button. Any comments, please leave a comment down below. Anything you want to see me try and build, make a suggestion. Always open to suggestions. Love new ideas. Uh, check out Scrap Match channel. He's got a lot of great content as well. Very inspiring stuff. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.